Hazel wrinkled her nose. That stuff is going to kill you. You kidding? So many preservatives in these things? I'll live forever. But hey, about this victory goddess being popular and great, don't you guys remember what her kids are like at Camp Half-Blood? Hazel and Frank had never been to Camp Half-Blood, but the others nodded gravely. He's got a point, Percy said. Those kids in Cabin 17, they're super competitive. When it comes to capture the flag, they're almost as worse as the Ares kids. Uh, no offense, Frank. Frank shrugged. Are you saying Nike has a dark side? Her kids sure do, Annabeth said. They never turn down a challenge. They have to be number one at everything. If their mom is that intense... Whoa. Piper put her hands on the table like the ship was rocking. Guys, all the gods are split between the Greek and Roman aspects, right? If Nike's that way and she's the goddess of victory... She's really conflicted, Annabeth said. She'd want one side or the other to win so she could declare a victor. She'd literally be fighting with herself. Hazel nudged her cereal bowl across the map of Greece. But we don't want one side or the other to win. We've got to get the Greeks and Romans on the same team. Maybe that's the problem, Jason said. If the goddess of victory is running rampant, torn between Greek and Roman, she might make it impossible to bring the two camps together. How? Leo asked. Start a flame war on Twitter? Percy stabbed at his pancakes. Maybe she's like Ares. That guy can spark a fight just by walking into a crowded room. If Nike radiates competitive vibes or something, she could aggravate the whole Greek-Roman rivalry big time. Frank pointed at Percy. You'll remember the old sea god in Atlanta, Phosphorus? He said Gaia's plans have always lots of ways. This could be a part of the giant strategy. Keep the two camps divided. Keep the gods divided. If that's the case, we can't let Nike play us against each other. We should start a winding party of four. Two Greeks, two Romans. The balance might help keep her balanced. Listening to Zhang, Leo had one of those double-take moments. He couldn't believe how much the guy had changed in the last few weeks. Frank wasn't just taller and buffer. He was more confident now, more willing to take charge. Maybe that was because his magical firewood lifeline was safely stashed away in a flame-proof pouch. Or maybe it was because he commanded a zombie legion and gotten promoted to Praetor. Whatever the cause, Leo had trouble seeing him as the same klutzy dude had once inaugurated his way out of Chinese handcuffs. I think Frank's right, Annabeth said. A party of four? We have to be careful who goes. We don't want to do anything that might make the goddess, um, more unstable. I'll go, Piper said. I can try charm speaking. Worry lines deepened around Annabeth's eyes. Not this time, Piper. Nike's all about competition. Aphrodite, well, she is too in her own way. I think Nike might see you as a threat. Once, Leo might have made a joke about that. Piper, a threat? The girl was like a sister to him. But if he needed help beating up a gang of thub, thugs or subduing a victory goddess, Piper was not the first person that he'd turn to. Recently, though, well, Piper might not have changed as obviously as Frank, but she had changed. She had stabbed Keone, the snow goddess, in the chest. She had defeated the Boreads. She'd slashed up a flock of wind harpies single-handedly. As for her charm speak, she'd gotten it so powerful it made Leo nervous. If she told him to eat his vegetables, he might actually do it. Annabeth's words didn't seem to upset her, though. Piper just nodded and scanned the group. Who should go, then? Um, Jason and Percy should not go together, Annabeth said. Jupiter and Poseidon? Bad combination. Nike could start you two fighting easily. Percy gave her a sideways smile. Yeah, we can't have another instant like in Kansas. I might kill my bro Jason. Or I might kill my bro Percy, Jason said amiably. Which proves my point, Annabeth said. We also shouldn't send Frank and me together. Mars and Athena? That would be just as bad. Okay, Leo broke in. So, Percy and me for the Greeks, Frank and Hazel for the Romans. Isn't that the ultimate non-competitive dream team, or what? 